Hello and welcome to lesson 4-1 using patterns to divide. So today we're going to look at our first steps of division and how division and multiplication relate together. So it says a bakery sells muffins to a local grocery store in boxes that hold 20 muffins each. How many boxes are used if 60 muffins are sold, 600 muffins, and 6,000 muffins? So now we have the word each. Now, before we talked about how each means multiply. Well, each actually means evenly. And when we talk evenly, we're talking about multiplication or division. So if we're putting 20 muffins into a box, so that means we have a bunch of muffins and we take 20 of them and we're putting them in this box. And we're taking 20 of them and putting them in this box and then taking 20 of them and putting them in this box. What are you doing to these muffins? Are you putting them all together to figure out how many muffins total? or are you separating them into boxes? You're separating them, good. So if you're separating equally, you are dividing. So we know we're going to have, our largest one is what I kinda wanna start with, is 6,000 muffins. And we know we're dividing them into groups of 20 because that equals one box. Well, we can kind of do the 6,000, the 60, and the 600 almost all at the same time. But I'm going to go ahead and write down each of our problems here because that I want the answer to each of these problems. All right, so I'm going to kind of flip the tables on these and we're going to do multiplication. So you should know that if you're dividing this way, then you're multiplying this way. For instance, if I were to do, I'm going to kind of scoot down here to kind of give an example. If I were to do, um, let's say, 5 times 2 equals 10, well, that also means that 10 divided by 2 equals 5. Okay, you should kind of remember that from fourth grade. Or 10 divided by 5 equals 2. So either of those works. So we're going to flip the table, and we're going to see what we can multiply 20 by. Well, if I take 20, and I want to multiply it by a number to get to 60, well, let's count by 20s. So we have 20, 40, 60. So this is what we call a power tower because we're putting it in order. So this is times one, this is times two, and this is times three. So we know we need three boxes to do 60 muffins. So I'm gonna put my three here. Okay, and then we can look at doing um, 20 times what gives me 600. Well, if times three gives me 60, and I'm wanting to go to 600, I know that I'm still gonna be doing two times three, so I know my three needs to be in there. How much larger is it from 60 to 600? How many place values? This is one place value larger. So I want this to be one place value larger. So if I'm in the ones place now, I'm gonna put a zero behind it so that I end up in the tens place. And that gives me 20 times 30 equals 600. Okay, let's try the last one here. So we have 20 times something gives me 6,000. Okay, now how many place values did I get larger? <laughs> one place value larger, and remember each place value, one place value equals times 10 because we're moving up, we're multiplying by 10 each time. So I multiplied by 10 here, which means I need to multiply by 10 here. So what is 30 times 10? That'd be 300. So we know our answer is 300. So we have three boxes, 30 boxes, and 300 boxes. So starting down at our basic helped us work our way up into our larger number. Okay, so let's try that again on the next page, on page 198. We're going to look down here at the bottom. So, well, I guess we need to know this part first. So we have this jet up here, and this jet holds... 18,000 passengers in 90 trips. So it says a jet carrier carries 18,000 passengers in 90 trips. The plane is full in each trip. How many passengers does the plane hold? So again, we have each, 
but we are putting passengers into planes. So we're moving them into it. I like to use my hands and think about, am I putting things into something or am I grabbing a bunch of stuff and putting it together? Well, in this case, I'm putting people into trips. So therefore I am dividing. So it gives you the example here. It says 18,000 divided by 90 equals N. So let's see how they solved it. They said, think of your basic math facts to help you. So that's kind of like the two times five equals 10. So here we have 18 divided by nine is two because two times nine is 18. So they took this 18 and they took this nine. They took away all the zeros and they started super basic. So then they thought about it in multiples of 10. So they said 180 divided by 90 is two. 1,800, so they added that extra zero divided by 90. They left the 90 the same because the 90 is in your problem. They're just upping this part each time. So that's 10 times larger or one place value larger. So we get one place value larger. Again, from here to here, we got one place value larger. So from here to here, we got one place value larger. So starting at the beginning and working your way into your larger numbers can help you figure out your answers. <laughs> so here, if the jet above carried 10,000 people in 50 trips, how many people did it carry each trip? So we have that each word again. We're putting people into planes, so therefore we're dividing. So we know our problem is going to be 10,000 divided by 50 equals, and then our answer. So it says, what basic math fact helped you? Well, we're going to start with the beginning. We have a 10 and a 5. So if I do 10, oops, not 50. If I do 10 divided by 5, what does that give me? Two, good. Okay, we're gonna work our way up into this 10,000 and this 50. So then I have 100 divided by 50 equals the same thing, two. So now I'm gonna, I got my 50 up there, but now I need to continue on here. So now I have 1,000 divided by 50. Well, here I got one place value larger, so I know I need to times it by 10. So 2 times 10 would be 20. Am I done? Nope, I'm only at 1,000. So I need to do 10,000 divided by 50 equals. So here again, I want one place value larger. So here I need to times it by 10. So 20 times 10 would be 200. So my answer is 200. So do you see how we took our basic math fact? and we worked our way down. Okay, we're gonna do a couple more examples. Let's start with number four. And this is lesson four one. All right, so we have 8,100 divided by 90. So we're gonna take our first number. So we have 81 divided by nine equals, well, what times nine gives you 81? Nine, good. So if we're just adding a zero to each number, it stays the same because zeros cancel each other out. So once again, I'm going to add a zero to this one. So I have a one zero zero. Well, look, there's my answer right there. I'm gonna keep my 90 the same. And if I got 10 times bigger here, I need to get 10 times bigger here and that's going to give me 90 as my answer. All right, so some of you may be asking why this one doesn't get 10 times bigger. Well, it's because you're 10 times bigger, bigger, that's not a word, but you're getting 10 times larger on both numbers. And when you do it to both numbers, they cancel each other out. So that's why when you're getting 10 times larger on just one of the numbers, then your answer is getting 10 times larger over here. It's the same thing as when we were doing this one over here. If you did 10 apples and you put them in five groups, you get two. Well, if I had 100 apples and I put them in groups of 50, 50 plus 50 is 100, so that's still two. So we didn't get 10 times larger on just one number, we did it on both numbers, therefore your answer stays the same. Okay, so it only multiplies by 10 in your answer if you multiply by 10 on one of your digits, on one of your divisors, not both of them. All right, let's try one more. Let's look at number six. 
we have 30,000 divided by 50. So we're going to take our basic numbers here, and we have 30 divided by 5, and that gives me 6. We're going to times 10 on both of them so that we get the same answer. And now we're at our full 50, so this one's not going to stay the same. So now we're going to multiply by 10 or go up one place value, which gives us 3,000. But I'm going to keep this one the same. So if I went up 10 on one number, I go up by 10 or one place value on the next number, which makes it 60. I'm not there yet. I need 30,000. So if I go up again, oops, that's the same number. If I go up again, another place value, that's another multiplying it by 10, but I'm going to keep this part the same, then now I need to multiply by 10 again, which gives me 600. So my answer here is 600. Oh. And I could write my answer there, which is also 90. All right. I hope that makes sense.